Welcome back everyone. So today we have received this amazing device and this small device that you see here is called as the Foci AI. It is basically a wearable which helps you to track your focus and eventually improve it. So without any further ado, let's get started. So starting off, we receive these two things. The first thing that you see here is an amazing book, which basically has different frameworks and all the thought process put behind in making this device. And it also has a lot of challenges. And at the end of every challenge, you have this checklist so you can track your progress. So we'll talk more about this book later. But opening the box here, we just get this card, which has the QR code. This QR code helps you to download the app from the Play Store and App Store. And then you have this belt, which basically allows you to strap on the device onto your waist. So these are different positions and this is a high quality belt, which is elastic. And then you have this Velcro, which uh, you can lock onto your waist. So it's really good quality. You can either use this or also put it on your trousers. So opening up the box here, you have this manual, which has the details, how to plug it and all that stuff. And then you have the device itself and you also receive this small cable, which is a standard mini USB to USB cable, which you can use for charging this device. So this is a pretty neat cable, just a standard one. And here we have the device. My first impression on the device is really good. It is a very beautiful design, very sleek and lightweight. So it has a soft finish, a plastic kind of a finish. And then you have this a metal clip onto it. And at the bottom you have the charging port and nothing else on the device, just you have the small branding on the back and it's very lightweight to put it onto your waist. So this is a device that you use to track your focus when you're seated on your table doing some study work or some uh, computer work. So most of the times when I'm doing some study work or anything on the table, I usually use my tablet. So that is why I'll go ahead and install the app on my tablet instead of my mobile. And let's see how it goes. So to activate the device, you just need to plug in the USB here and gives you the blue light here. And it also vibrates a bit to show that it's activated. So here I'll move on to the tablet's device screen so that we have a clear picture. So once you start scanning the device, it shows you the device name and you just need to tap on that. So here the device is not upgraded. So just click on upgrade and the firmware on the device gets upgraded. And once that is done, you just need to enter some personal information. And right now here it says it's unable to detect the breathing patterns. And that is because it's not strapped on. So I just put it onto my waist here on my trousers. And you got to make sure that the white side is facing towards your skin. Then only it will be able to detect your breathing patterns. So once I put on that to my waist here, you can see that it starts to track your uh, breathing patterns. The calibration is being shown and it says not in focus. But right now the machine learning is at 0% as you see here. And this is not the right time to test the device. So I'll be back again after testing this for one week. And then I'll be able to give a correct proper review of this. So here I'm back again after using the device for more than a week here and the machine learning has almost completed to 100%. As soon as I open the app, it first tries to sync the data from the device and then the calibration happens and then it shows the real time state of your mind. So right now it shows feeling calm. The blue blob here keeps changing color which represents different state of your minds. And then you have this calendar view which basically keeps a track of your state of mind on different days and different times of the day. So this basically helps the machine learning to keep learning more about you and your breathing patterns. So as you can see, as I keep swiping through the days here, it shows you the track of all the state of minds. So different colored balls here shows you different state of the mind. And then you can also use this to compare with your previous week, your personal best and keep progressing on it. Once I go into the profile settings here, you can actually go into your device settings and there it shows you the battery percentage and when you have to charge it and you have the device name and it also has a vibrating setting which basically allows you to turn on your vibration and set the intensity. That is because you have vibration alerts on this. So if I go into these default settings, you can see you can uh, turn on and turn off the vibration settings for different alerts. So once you enter into a distraction state, it allows you with one long vibration which basically tells you that you have to get back into focus and move away from the distraction. And then you have the stress alert and all that stuff. So you can play around with these settings and see which works out for you the best. So that's it in this. Let's go back to the home screen and see the main features that we have there. So here we are back on the home screen and as you can see it says not in focus and that is why you have this grey color blob here. And this basically keeps changing colors telling you different state of the mind. And then you have these two main features here that is deep work. So in deep work can be used when you are trying to do a work for a particular fixed time here. So let's say I want to do a 45 minute study. I can just set the time here for 45 minutes and start it. 
and this basically starts the notifications also so you get those alerts when you're getting distracted and all that stuff so this keeps a track of all your progress that you're doing through these 45 minutes and gives you alerts and once it is done it basically ends up with a chart like this which basically gives you this chart showing you when you are in deep focus and as you can see in the between I was distracted and that is why you have that sleek line there. So basically that helps you to do a track like this. Then you have this focus boost which can be used to improve your focus or get into a deep focus state when you're feeling that you're distracted or something. You have these droplets on the screen which indicates the distraction. So these keep going away as you keep increasing your focus and getting into that deep focus state. And same is the case with the bubble that you see here. You also have these pleasant relaxing background audio and all that stuff. And you can swipe to the right so this helps in deep relaxation so all this uh, you can study more about this in the book uh, that they provided that gives you more info about this so overall i would say this is an amazing device with the machine learning capabilities and all that stuff but don't think that you can just buy this and put it onto your body and that will just magically generate focus in you it's not something like that but you got to work along with it so let's say you tried meditation and different ways to get back into focus and you failed this device could really help as it gives you a real time feedback of your state of your mind and keeps a track of it and helps you progress on achieving a deep focus. Would definitely suggest you to try this device and get your focus on track. And also we have a special discount coupon which you can use to get a 15% discount. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.